Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. So this afternoon, let's play with La Pavone. So I have, so this is a pre-millennium, which means uh, uh, before year 2000. Uh, so I have the La Pavone Pro. Uh, this is a 1.6 liter. Okay. By the way, if you are planning on buying uh, La Pavone in the future, just make sure you get the bigger one as possible. Okay. Because even though the smaller one uh, supposedly serve like six to seven cups but uh, you do waste some water between the uh, shot so you know i highly recommend just get the larger size uh, it's been warming up for the last few minutes and it's hot it's not hot yet because again the man the key to making a great espresso with the lap of one is the management the heat management so just make sure manage your heat so there's no pid on this one okay so think of it as a big boiler. That's it. All right. So the big boiler uh, has a steam one bill. So let me give you guys close uh, close look. All right. Here we go, guys. Give you guys a close look there. Uh, so this one uses a 49 millimeter port filter. It's pretty small. Okay, very small. And the, the newer model, uh, post millennium. They use 51 millimeter. So, so this is, again, so most express motion turn to the right. This one turn to the left. So that's the steam one. Again. I mean, steam one is pretty good. I have to say, very nice power there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to heat up my group head. Okay, I'm going to heat up my group head by purging some water. Just going to purge some water there. Just go. Hope You know, hold on. Maybe I can show you guys close up here. Uh, watch the water pressure coming down. Okay. That is very strong. Okay, you see that? That's very, very powerful. So make sure uh, whenever you're lifting the level. Just go gentle. Okay, the key is you got to be gentle with it. I think we are. Let's see here. So the temperature strip. Hold on. Let's give you guys a close look. Yeah, changing colors there. I think we are ready to brew. Okay. I think I'm ready to brew. I'm just going to shut it shut for a second there because you don't want to overheat the machine. All right, I think I'm going to be using the Casper again. I'm just going to dial it in for tomorrow. Okay, the coffee's done. Well, let's do some puck prep, guys. We're gonna do some puck prep here. I'm just gonna put uh, puck prep again. There is no, I mean, good tools to prep the puck. So I had to modify a little bit. I got my, this kind of a homemade dosing cup. I'm just going to go gently. Kind of a two-step process. Okay. And then I use the transfer. Just like so. Just like that, guys. And uh, you know what? I think I need some tools because you do need a tools to hold on, folks. I Oh, 
hopefully I have the right size. So this is the Lapaboni. So this is the Lapaboni distribution. So this is a 49 millimeter. Okay, perfectly level. And then, so here's a temp. Just make sure nice and even. So we are good to go there. I know sometimes I like to add some puck paper as well. So let's do, I'm going to add some puck paper. Because puck paper helps. That's not the right size. Hold up. There we go. Uh, sometimes you might want to wet, but uh, I think it'd be okay. Because the water pressure is going to be extremely strong. All right, I think we are ready to pull the shot here. I'm just going to go purge one last time. Just go nice and easy. Just like so. I'm not, I'm not totally locked in the water filter yet. All right, guys. So, so this is a 13 gram shot. Okay, I got 13 gram in. I watch the time there. Turn back on. Because again, you don't want to you don't want to use really really hot water. So I'm just gonna perch. Just gonna go nice and easy. Okay. Just go nice and easy. Hope I can show you the level. I'm gonna add the water. So whenever I see the drops. I'm just gonna wait, okay? I'm gonna wait till drop. See some drop there. We are doing the pre infusion right now. Here's the level. You see that dropping coming? Now I'm going to use the drop there. I'm going to press, okay? Just give it a good press. So I'm going to do turbo. There we go. About 35 gram, 36 gram out shot. That's it. I'm going to shut it off for a second. So this is what we get, okay? So I got 13 gram in and like 36 gram out. Let's double check, yep, 30, about 40 grams. So like kind of a one to three ratio. About one to three there. So let's give it a try. So again, so this is a Costa Rica. Uh, from Good Brothers Coffee, we are using this afternoon. And uh, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna cool down for a little bit. Meantime, I'm gonna we got shout out to Rappos on this afternoon. We got Leroy, we got Heinz. Let's see here. What about uh, like a Jalinda? I hope I'm saying it right. You got Richard from France. We got Jelinda from Germany as well. You got Benjamin's on. Okay. You got uh, Matthew's on as well. Good. Cheers, guys. 
Smells pretty good. Again, I'm tasting note is, the tasting notes are raspberry, mandarin, and sugar. Okay. Mandarin, raspberry, and sugar. Here you go. Cheers. Definitely raspberry is really kicks in. So I'm using the Caspers from uh, DF64, the SSP Casper. Uh, raspberry, definitely mandarin. After taste there, what else do I taste? Sweet. It's not bad. Actually, this is the best shot so far, I have to say. Lapuponi is very finicky. It's very hard to use sometimes because it's all about the managing the heat. So, I mean, I'm pretty ple uh, pleased with this shot right now. Okay, quite tasting. You know what? Let's make a quick latte on this one. I got some a little bit of coffee left. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, the steaming as well. Okay, so you get to see it. All right, let me show you guys. Let me show you the steaming. How I'm gonna steam this. There we go. Let's do quick steaming. Just a little bit of milk. You know what, let's do, how about let's do like uh, some kind of cortado, okay? I got small cups. I'm gonna add some leftover espresso, just put it right here. Yeah. You see that? be more like little flat white just make sure you got a purge okay make sure you got a purge you see that milk coming down yeah make sure purge it well good I mean again the very the steam is up pretty dry really nice I'm just gonna make sure I shut it off okay all right let's do some Latte art there. Again, this uh, shot's a little flat, but it's all right. This can be a little flat white. Hopefully, we have some decent latte art. Nope. Really flat. Okay, it's okay. Let's try that coffee. Again, uh, it does pretty good job. Okay, overall, that's really good. So, so let's try this. Man, sweet, 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 sweet. Hmm. I th I think so far. I think this is one of my best shots so far. Okay, this is one of my best so far today. Again, I mean, it is a little tricky. Let's see here. I'm gonna shout out to Jackie. Jackie's on, the Asian dev. Uh, Jackie has a sweet setup at home. Uh, he got the Cafetec MC4 grinder with, he has the latest Lapaboni at home, sweet. And I mean, if you haven't seen it yet on my Instagram, make sure to check out the Jackie's setup at home. Very nice, okay, very nice there. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. I got Mikey and coffee. Only see clear and smoke. Okay. Gwenda, love your t-shirts. Yeah, so this is the gear from Seattle, coffee gear. 
I got this shirt about a couple years ago. So yeah, gear is, she's pretty cool. All right, she's really nice. So again, the coffee was, the milk was flat, but you know, coffee is good. Milk was flat, but coffee is pretty tasty. You know, let me know in the comment section, how many people has actually a lap of money at home? And so, okay, let me show you why I like to use the puck uh, screen, okay, using that paper. Okay, whenever you open the uh, portal filter, just make sure to be careful. Okay, just go nice and slow. Okay, if not, you are going to just sometimes ex explore, explode. There we go. So this is why I like having the paper. So you're going to have somewhat dry puck there. I mean, you know, overall, decent extraction. So again, the, having the puck, it's pretty hot. So, so the, again, the paper give you the, the clean shower screen. Let's see here. Let's see, Rapa, I was thinking about getting Lapa Boy, but finally went with the Flare 58. Man. Okay, Flare 58 does not have the milk frothing, okay? So if you don't care about that, I think Flare 58 is pretty good bat, all right? But I mean, if you like, uh, let's see, if you like, you know, milk based drink, Lapa Boni is also, I mean, I think I go with the Lapa Boni, but if you don't, again, if you don't like the milk, you know, either if you don't care about the milk, Flare 58 is also pretty cool as well. Uh, so this one, it's now a model 97. Okay, well, you got yellow. You got Yala yellow. Uh, you know, let's shout out to everybody, okay, you guys? Shout out to Yala, Reroy. You got the ball headed racing as well. You got Gwenda, you got Rappos on, yeah. And the Rappos say, I drink my espresso without the cow juice. Okay, that's good. Uh, Richard said, we also need uh, my, uh, my t-shirts. Uh, I'm working on it right now, okay? I think I have a like, couple of different designs from uh, Renzo. My buddy Renzo from Holland, so yeah. Let's see here, I think. And the Asian Dev say, uh, shout out to Roger Clark as well, okay? Got the Asian Dev mentioned about Let's see here, we have, I think we are pretty good afternoon. Okay, we go, whole, man, we have whole 20 people watching. Okay, 21 people watching. All right, that's good. So tomorrow, okay, so tomorrow, uh, big day. We're gonna go the blind taste uh, between MP birds versus uh, Casper's. So I'm gonna shuffle around. We're gonna do some, uh, we're gonna have some fun comparison. All right. Gwanda say I have too much water. Okay, sometimes if, if your coffee is too uh, too old, okay, uh, you're gonna have some water retain. But you know, it's ultimately it's how's your coffee taste, right? As long as if your coffee taste is good, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter what's the puck quality, okay? Or the uh, uh, little little boy has a yellow piccola with automatic fry. Automatic frothing system for milk. You know, I'm not a big fan of that one, that system. Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know, it, it gets really messy. Yeah. You got bar hat uh, racing. Uh, mine is 1970 Gen 1. So this one is built in 1990. Okay, it's about 30 years old. Uh, works really good still. Okay, only thing I replay, uh, pretty much I rebuilt the inside so far. That's about it. Okay, I replaced the uh, pressure stats, and that's it. Solid, uh, lasts forever. The uh, lasts for a long time there. Going to say coffee is good. Good, yeah. You know what? I mean, doesn't really matter. Okay, as long as coffee is good, don't worry about it. You know, I want too much worry about the uh, yeah your uh, puck quality there. So no worries there. All right, guys. Uh, this is good. I think it's two days good for today. 
Again, uh, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna bring the the lever machine regularly, the weekly base, because it's been a while. So uh, let's bring out the lever machine on the our afternoon session. I have the Rock. It's called Rock R O K. The Rock uh, espresso machine setup sitting out there right now, very lonely. And then let's not forget the flare as well. I do have flare sitting right over there. So yeah, so we're gonna play with some lever machine uh, coming days and weeks, okay? And what else? And uh, that's about it, okay? We, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun uh, coming days and the weeks. By the way, uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, let's see, oh, by the way, we just passed the 40,000 subscribers, guys. It's a big deal, big 40. Thousand, so yeah, I think one of my shorts, okay, short video got you know a lot of people watching. So yeah, who knew, right? Who knew? Okay, cook up for coffee. Yeah, peace out. Okay, all right, cook up for coffee. Let's see. Okay, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, and see you guys uh, tomorrow.